Put my mic on. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? I hope that everybody's having a blessed week. Akeisha, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. I'm doing good. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I am live. I am live. No, uh, the the picture on the front, it messed up a little bit, but I think I fixed it. Um, so we'll get that right. But if you guys have questions at any time while we're doing this live stream, again, uh, just go ahead and type it in the chat. I'll be sure to put it up there on YouTube so we can answer that. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to get started here. Make sure that you guys are introducing yourselves um, here in the chat feature. Let us know the name of your business, where you're from. Uh, what is your industry? What do you need help with? Uh, most importantly, how can someone else help you? And then have your contact information, whether you're watching this on a replay or not. Uh, it's important for us to network. And if you're watching this video, Again, nine times out of 10, uh, you want to network with the other people who are watching this. So uh, make sure that you go ahead and put that in there. In the meantime, I'll tell you guys a little about myself as you watch the replay or if you're new to me. Uh, my name is Dr. Travis Davis from the Washington, D.C. area. I did do a million dollars in government contracting at the age of 25, knowing absolutely nothing. Um, graduated college and was working at a help desk and I was the project manager for that and honestly I just got tired of the uh, uh, manager that they had in place getting all the credit for what I was doing and I took a leap of faith after I seen some things come out on a printer that I was fixing uh, and said hey I'm going to 1099 myself back to my current job uh, and I would like to make all of the money uh, I allowed them to make a dollar per hour off of me and that was for the Affordable Care Act contract for that help desk uh, I ended up asking for 32 employees because I, I mean 23 employees because I knew all of the information. I was running a project. I knew they needed me. Uh, they ended up giving me 32 and um, we haven't looked back since then. I did had to remove myself from working in order for the company to scale and grow. Uh, and ever since then we've been able to do a marketing agency. Uh, we've sold products to the government, over a quarter million dollars in Apple products uh, here alone, right in Prince George's County. Um, but we sell all types of products to the government. Um, we actually just got into the ammunition space, so um, looking forward to that. Uh, I've consulted to over 20 companies um, and helped them win over $50 million in government contracting. I've been able to train over 1,500 students. And if you want to get in contact with me at any time, just visit TravisKnows.com. So again, make sure you're putting your information in the chat too. Uh, so when people are watching the replays, they can contact you if you have valuable information for them. Or you guys can do that partnership. Remember, partnerships are going to be crucial when it comes to government contracting. Hopefully they didn't sign me out there. But uh, what we're going to do here today, guys, is I want to talk to you about, you know, um, just understanding how government contracting operates. Uh, because a lot of times um, we have fear or we have misinformation that uh, doesn't allow us to look at government contracting correctly. But I keep hearing all of this stuff about recession, recession, recession. And I don't hear solutions. Well, there's a solution right here. This customer has the most money in the world. They never, ever go through a recession. Okay. Uh, this is why it's very important for our community to start learning more about government contracting. And that's why I appreciate each and every one of you guys who hang out with me here on YouTube and the other social channels. And you're subscribing and you're sharing this information out because I do need your assistance to get this information out there. So I appreciate it, but we have to get this in our minority communities so we don't have to experience this thing called recessions. Uh, the government spends the most money in the world. They're never going to stop spending money. Like no matter what goes down, what happens, they're always going to be purchasing products and services, no matter what. And uh, do, through the last couple of recessions, even during the pandemic, uh, the amount of money that they spend during this time is just, it's, it's outrageous. And we have to, again, start to tap into it. So today I want to show you guys, again, how to look at some opportunities that you probably wouldn't even think of 
but I really want you to start to think outside of the box when it comes to government contracting. Because remember, at the end of the day, uh, in order to have a business, you know, that means that you're going to be generating revenue off of OPT, other people's time. Uh, if you're not generating revenue off of other people's time, you don't have a business, you have a job for yourself. And we want to build businesses in our communities. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how you could look at this stuff to start the process of building your business. So let me share my screen here. Now, as you guys know, you do have to have your business registered in SAM.gov in order to uh, do any of the work with the government. Yes, you can talk to them, um, but in order to do deals with them, sign contracts, get paid, you're going to have to have your business registered in SAM.gov. Uh, you don't have to be a business to be in SAM.gov, but you know I would never advise people to go about uh, uh, getting paid through your social security numbers. So you can be a sole prop and uh, go through that and get registered in SAM.gov. There's people who do it. But again, uh, I want you guys to build business. So uh, go get your EIN number and that information and then get it registered here in SAM.gov. Now you do have to be logged in uh, to look at some of the data. Uh, I don't know if you have to be logged in to look at contracts. I'm not sure, but we're going to go ahead and click on contract opportunities here on SAM.gov. Don't forget, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're on Clubhouse, don't forget, you can click the link at the top and come look over on YouTube at what it is that we're doing over here. Um, do do do. So we're clicking contract opportunities. Then we're going to go here to advanced search. And I just want to show you guys some stuff that's out there. So maybe your mind can start to think a little bit. So I'm going to come down here to notice types. Okay, and I'm going to change that bad boy to combine synopsis, solicitations, and solicitations. Okay, I don't know why they did it. All right, encounter to error, authenticating user. I don't know what that was about. I guess you guys see the uh, government sites, you know, they're tripping sometimes. All right, anyway, so now we're here. Um, so you can start to look through this. Sometimes uh, you want to look and, and maybe that'll make you think a little bit differently. Uh, and I wanted to just show you guys some stuff to see how you could start to maneuver through some of this. So let me see if uh, I could find one that seems to, where there'll be a master class starting soon. Will there be a master class starting soon? Yeah, we're going to have some master classes going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we're we going to take the show on the road too, but uh, I do have some stuff in the works. Um, I'm going to do my 14-day government contracting again soon, but uh, I'm going to do it in seven days, not 14 days. But um, I'll be letting you guys know when that's coming, probably towards the end of the month. Um, let's see, tote fire timber vehicle garage. Oh, look at that service contract. Da, 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 da. Law enforcement and security services. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> law enforcement and security services. Now, most people are probably like, yo, I can't do law enforcement and security services. Uh, ding, ding, ding. You're right. I, I didn't tell you to do it, but that doesn't mean that you get hired. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, that's what I want you to get your mindset into. It's not about what you can do. Don't be selfish like that. Uh, only selfish people talk about themselves. <laughs> I like to uh, help other people get paid. Uh, sound is soliciting law enforcement, traffic control, security services. This acquisition is a sole source. Ooh, so they're looking to give it directly to somebody. Okay. Or it is a firm fixed price. Um, let's go down here. So, uh, I always tell you, you know, don't, um, don't take the words that are right here to grant it. Uh, you need to come and click on the actual documents and the documents will tell you the truth. If it's in black and white, that's what, that is what matters. All right. So they need to, uh, require an activity, strategic weapons facility, uh, in the Pacific, 
Uh, let's see. The requirements for security and law enforcement services and support with whoever they are in transit protection program. All right. So they need some supplies. U.S. Navy high value unit security. I guess I shouldn't have picked the military one. Because now I got to go look up their codes. All right, I'm not going to go look up their codes to see what the products are. Let me stay out of the military for right now. Make it a little more easier. I don't know why this thing is talking about authenticating users. Like, am I not signed in? So, you know, I really usually do not use, as I tell you guys all the time, I don't usually use the free sites. I use software, but uh, I do have the software that I would recommend to you all in the description here. Fire Eye Purple Team. I'm telling you, this is why you guys have to look at this stuff every day. Like, the stuff that they have up here is just crazy. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and change this to dates. And I'm actually going to do response in the next month. All right, so now we can see, like, what's coming up in the next month. And, and mind you, again, this isn't all of the contracts, okay? This is just some stuff that's coming out on SAM.gov, maybe 80%. If that, uh, a lot of a lot of other stuff comes out on different sites. So um, don't think that this is the only site that government contracts come out. So I'm taking a look at this tool, screw and connect, whatever. Uh, it is for DOD, uh, preferably the DLA. Um, now, here's the thing. Let's say if you could do this, right? So I don't even know what tools. So look at the look at the title of the contract. Tools, screws, and connect whatever. Okay. Now I come down here. The NAICS code that they're using in the DLA for this requirement is three 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 one six. That's a photographic and photocopy equipment manufacturing. Now you probably don't have that NAICS code, nor are you the manufacturer. Okay. So. The beauty about government, federal government contracting, we just got to go plug the next code back into our SAM profile if we would want to pursue this opportunity. Now, I need to look at it more and see, like, what are they really requiring? All right. So, uh, per rose, do, 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 tool, screw, connected, line one, quantity of five. Let me just open the damn document. Oh, my God. All right. I was hoping it was see all of these agencies man they they do things differently this is why i always tell you you got to learn your agency to see how they operate all right so this is the dla um i believe this is just a rfq i don't feel like reading all this stuff um man i guess i'm gonna have to read through some stuff I, uh, procurement Yeah, they got some different stuff in there. Uh, so I've never actually done work with the DLA. So that's why I always say, again, it's important to know your customer. But, all right. They just want five of these. This is an estimated. What is this for? All right. So I will have to look up this material. All right. Let me see here. Trying to see if they give me any other information. You know you would have to deliver it to the address. So you want to make sure that you have the delivery address of where it needs to go to. Because whatever company is going to ship this stuff. Oh. Removal of government identification from non-accepted supplies. Okay, that's not a problem. Alright. That's for procurement. Procurement. Yeah, I have to read through some more of this, man. I guess I'm picking all the hard ones for y'all today. But it looks like they just need five of whatever this is. And honestly, man, for five, where was it at? Um, and I just did a quick skim through. Where did I see that? Uh, five, five, five. Yeah. Uh, they just need five of whatever it is. This is the cleanse line item. That's the product. They just need five. Uh, and, I mean, I wouldn't waste my time for five, but 
Someone will. And the reason I'm saying I wouldn't waste my time, in order to even build through the DOD, like you got to go through all of this stuff uh, and go through their system to get paid. And it's just a lot of work when you're not the manufacturer. So I don't think you're going to get the best price. And to do all that work for not enough money um, just wouldn't be smart to me. All right. Let's see if we can find a different one that seems to be a little easier. Packing assembly. I would look at that one, but that one could be complicated. Um, rubber strip. Okay, here we go. I don't think it should be hard to do this rubber strip. Damn it, it's with the DLD and DL8. No, this can't be. It is with the DOD and DLA again. It is. No, I don't want to deal with them. You see? It's just, there's 256 opportunity, and I do not know why this keeps giving me this user error. But there's 256 opportunities that's coming up in the next month. And I mean, honestly, you have to just look through this stuff and I'm trying to look. Sam.gov is not is not rocking with me today. It keeps kicking me out. I don't know why it keeps telling me that I have to be authenticated. All right, let's come back down. So there's 256 opportunities coming out in the next month that you can deal with. Remove and install man bars and ducting. I don't know what that is. Monitoring services. Uh, and I'm really trying to find y'all something simple that anybody could go after. I mean, you could go after any of these. That's not the problem. But I'm trying to find you something simple that you don't have to do a lot of reading and you can understand quickly. Uh, all of this stuff, if you just clicked on it and took your time to read it, at the end of the day, whether I'm selling paper cups or if I'm selling a hydraulic system, I got to call somebody that got it. So the same way that you search on the internet for uh, shoes, purses, uh, influencer that you want to follow, it's the exact same techniques, but now you're going to get paid off of this. Like, this isn't for fun. This is for real life. And that's for product side. All right, refrigerator, freezer. All right, I think we can take a look at this one. Damn, this was the Department of Army too. Man, the Army is spending some money. You hear me? God dang. Or DOD. Well, DOD always spends money. All right, so they need refrigeration equipment. It's under this NAICS code. Again, let's say you don't have that NAICS code. Boom. Put it in your SAM.gov profile. Uh, in Michigan, Missouri is where it's going to be. Michigan Ave, Missouri is where this may need to be delivered. I haven't read it yet, but if that's the location, that's where we got to go do business. You don't need to have no license in Missouri. Like, you could... you. Don't need to worry about being registered. We're doing business with the federal government. You can do business in any state across states as long as it's federal work. All right. So I always say read what's going on. Now they're putting this out on a site called uh, Unison Global. So it's not really on Sam.gov. The opportunity is going to be on Unison Global. Um, and you're going to have to submit through there. Okay. Uh, because it is a low, it's probably going to be like a credit card spin right here. It's all going to be done right here. Oh, they need 50. I like that. All right. So let's check this out. They need 50 apartment size, 4.8 cubic foot refrigerator. So, uh, let me do apartment size. Look, I'm just copying apartment size, cubic refrigerator, freezer. Oh, the freezer too. Don't forget. Oh, right side door hinge too. Don't forget that. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw that bad boy there. Copy that. Um, come on over here. Paste that in. All right, now let's go back. What else did it say about it? Um, it needs to be black. The dimensions need to be 45, 3 fourths. And here's the thing. This is why I tell you guys you must read. Like, don't take my word for I'm not the one cutting the check. Like, people are always like, well, what if it's white? Did they tell you white? They told you black. 
Like you don't get to change the options to make you feel better. The government told you exactly what they want. This isn't like the private sector. You can't say, hey, I got a, I got a better option. No, they told you the options that they want, whether it's a product or service, it's your job to fulfill it, all right? So I'm sitting over here, you know, put black in. It's probably looking something like that. No, 4.8 cubic, let me add black. All right, so now we're getting a little closer to the exact refrigerator that they want. If I really go through these specs, okay, like it's probably going to narrow down to one or two manufacturers when I put all, like when I keep looking through 45, through like this is probably a specific manufacturer when I go look through this stuff. But I don't, again, have time to look through all of this right now. I'm showing you guys an expedited version. So uh, if I look through here, okay, we got black. Lowe's got the refrigerator. I'm just saying this is the one, okay? It's $6.99. Well, let me see who makes the refrigerator. We got this model number. I believe that's the model number, period. So I'm coming over here, pasting in that model number. All right, we got Frigidaire, Home Depot, couple people, they got it. $6.98, $6.99, $6.93. Google might help me find some other ones right there. All right, so now I see Lowe's, everybody got it. Now, here's where you could play your part. Maybe you have a uh, uh, corporate account at Home Depot or Lowe's that they give you a discount because remember, we're not buying two refrigerators, we're buying 50. So off the bat right now, you should be doing 50 times 699. 50 times 699. You're gonna need $35,000 in order to make this deal happen. And you need $35,000. The government's not going to pay you to go get the refrigerators. You have to get the refrigerators and then they're going to reimburse you because you're also going to put your uh, uh, rate on top of that in order for you to make a profit. So now that I know at minimum, I'm going to need $35,000 for this deal. I need to start uh, uh, building these relationships. And at the meantime, figuring out how I'm going to get this money. And I got started with credit cards. Credit cards was the key to me. Um, they had a 0% APR. I got started in this product side after I was running my uh, uh, help desk. When I when I left out of the help desk, I'm like, how else do I get more contracts? This is where I started selling products, and in the meantime, subcontracting. Right. So now I have all the information. Six ninety nine. Okay. So you could say if it's going to cost you thirty five thousand dollars, maybe you want to put a ten percent markup on it. You need to do your own pricing. So I'll just show you a quick way that you can get an idea of um, what your pricing may be. We can come over here to fpds.gov, type that in there. Oops, matter of fact, uh, let me see, I, I can just put 4.8 cubic. No, damn it. See, now it's going to take a little bit more work for you to look through here. But, I mean, Air Force right here, I believe this was going to Army. This may be the same thing. Let's see. I'll just put it in there real quick. We're going down here. Uh, man, see, I don't... They don't always put the best descriptions in this stuff. It could have been the same refrigerators because it's around 32000 uh, maybe when they bought it in bulk, they got it at 20 something. I don't know. I'm just showing you guys, you got to go through FBAS and do some research. I ain't about to do it all right here. Uh, I'm just showing you guys how to do it, man. I ain't even going well to you. Uh, so that's how you could go find those refrigerators and literally get three quotes. You know, get one from Lowe's. What were the other ones that we seen here? Home Depot. Uh, if it's a whirlpool and most importantly, if it's something like, let's see, uh, whirlpool, always scroll down to the bottom of every, every business's site. You're scrolling down to the bottom 
and you're looking for uh, uh, something like affiliates, resellers, I seen there they have professional discount. All right, let me see products. Kitchen, da da da. Find a retailer. Who is this? Whirlpool. All right, but I'm looking to see if they have some uh, form of a business operation because you can get discounts as a business. You can get discounts as a reseller. Uh, but you gotta, you gotta. They're not going to advertise the stuff up here for the regular citizens like even Best Buy you probably don't even know that you could be like I'm an affiliate with Best Buy like and when in doubt if you can't find it at the uh, bottom of the page for any reason let me see if I can find it quickly here um, affiliate program right and this you got to read through it to see what it's trying to tell you okay it's trying to tell you that we'll give you a discount if you sell a certain amount of things or uh, you'll get reimbursed uh, for selling a certain amount of products or services like I have affiliate programs in my system I, we have to stop saying in the community that affiliate is a scam or things like that so you can read it like is that affiliate commissions are changing lives right now because you don't need to own the product you don't need to have it in your house you don't need to do anything but have a link that's it one link can get you three four three four thousand dollars put in your pocket quickly for referring people to stuff that they was already going to purchase that's the beauty about it they were already going to buy the shit you just told them like hey look yeah i like it too click the link and again, if for some reason you can't find it at the bottom of the site, so let's say like, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a company, uh, B and H. I B and H photo is a great one that I work with all the time for tech supplies. Uh, B and H photo uh, reseller. Damn it. I didn't mean resize. B and H photo reseller. Resell. Right. So now all of a sudden, um, it's going to let me see if B and H has a program immediately. So they don't call it B and H reseller, but look, small business B and H. So they have some small business thing that you can sign up for. Amazon got some small business stuff that you can sign up for. It'll give discounts when you're buying in bulk. That's the beauty about these contracts. You buy in bulk. But here's the other kicker that you got to think about when you're getting it on a credit card. Credit cards give you cash back. They give you travel or whatever. If you can make those calculations, this is why it's very important to have software and that you're able to make the calculations. Because, yes, on the front end, things may not look like you're getting that much of a profit. But if you know that you're going through like the affiliate program where this company's going to give you uh, 20 percent back for every purchase that's made, or if you're going and using a credit card and they're giving you like two percent for the cat for the transaction right there, I mean, you just have to understand that on the back end, you're getting all of this money. So yes. I can give the government this item at a 8% markup when I know that I'm getting another 7%, 6% on the back end. Whatever that percentage is, that's why it's your uh, uh, job to do those type of calculations. But you got to sometimes make things make sense. Think outside of the box because it's sitting right there. The opportunity is sitting right there for you to generate revenue. Okay? So hopefully that explains this product thing. Now, if you still aren't believing yet, like, is is there an opportunity for me? Like, I've seen Travis just search through that stuff, but I don't know if it's an opportunity sitting there for me. I want you to go to fpds.gov, okay? And I mean, anything that could come into your mind. Like, I don't, like, anything. If your markup is high, right, if your markup is high, let me put this up here, all right? If your markup is high, but you're the only bidder, could the government still reject your bid? Uh, no. If they need it, I guess they could. If your if your markup is too high, I mean, if it's reasonably priced, like if they don't have another person, and you're not price gouging. Um, I can't imagine that they would. Yeah, no. 
They, they, they got to accept it. You put the bid in. They can't, they can't tell you no. It's their job. That's the thing. It's the government's job as well to do market research. Like before they put something out there, they should have had three people already say that they could do that. Should have. Not unless it was some type of direct award. And that's why a lot of times stuff comes back here to Unison. So yes, Unison can knock some stuff off because this is a marketplace that the government works with, but they're third party. Um, so usually those type, this is like somebody didn't bid, they put it on Unison or they did just put it on Unison because like they work with Unison all the time. Hope that made sense. But that's a great question. You know, I never, never thought about that. If your price is too high, that's the one that threw me off right there. If it's too high, never thought about it. But come here to FPDS. Anything that you want to put in, we could put in eggs. Right? We can look at eggs, click on date sign. Right? Now you can see in May 25th, 2022, I'm not sure where eggs sit here. But $4.9 million got spent. I hope it ain't just in eggs. <laughs> well, let's read it. Uh, commodities for food donation. So they had cheese. Pretty sure they had some other stuff in there. But you know all those food donations that you guys see all the time hearing about? That the government's donating all this food when things happen? Well, it's our taxpaying money. And this is where it goes to. For you. To make $4.9 million to give the government cheese, eggs, and whatever else the people of the United States want. So this is what I'm trying to tell you guys. It's important that we pay attention to this stuff because when we're over there, uh, uh, you know, telling them to do certain things, they don't care. They're like, all right, you want to spend all the money? We're just going to charge out more in taxes. And they're just giving away $4.9 million. So, yeah, if we're going to do that. We need to start making sure that we come back over here and get the contract for what we asking for because it hurts us. Honestly, that's why they don't care. If it's any business in the world that does not know how to spend money correctly, it is the United States government. I'm not here to argue with them. I'm just saying, let's go get it. Like, don't just let them get away with this. iPhones. Look, come on, man. I know we all know how to buy iPhones iPhone right there, date sign. Who's buying iPhones right now? Okay, we have uh, AID, right? They're buying iPhones. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is iPhones inside of there. All of these contracts, $145. I don't know what they was asking for. $46. I got I got to see what they're asking for. But these type of opportunities, they're not going to pop up on the internet. They're too small. These are phone calls. This is a purchase order. They could have got you out of the way on the phone. Click view. Now you want to talk about getting paid right now? Yeah, you can get paid right now on these on these credit cards. All right, so we're looking right here. What do they need? iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPad Pro 12.9. I don't know how many of them they need because I can't see the actual opportunity. But there was four offers received on here. That means that everybody had a 25% chance of winning this. And the winning price came in at $28,998. So you now have an idea if you want to sell iPhones and iPads to uh, the State Department. I don't even know how to say that word. To the, Preferably for the Embassy of Manila or something like that. <laughs> you need to buy them uh, some iPhones. Now, you can come over here and look at the business that wanted before, Muka Magic, and I can come get some more information on them. And this is how I'm searching through things to see if I even got a chance of, you know, winning. Because if this company is right in their backyard and I'm not in their backyard, I'm just going to give up. I, to me, it just makes sense. Why, why, why would I spend my time and then tell myself, oh, man, this don't work? Uh, it works. It's just... That was a bad strategy you had. All right, so we're looking at Muka Trade, Muka Magic Trade. They do two hundred seventeen thousand. 
They've been winning probably all product contracts at 217. I don't think they took on, they could have took on some service-based contracts, but look, I can see right here where they're winning. The next thing I want to do is just scroll over here. Who are they getting all their contracts with? Every one of their contracts with the Department of State. So why would I go up against these boys? Not unless I got a price they can cut their price. But I know they got the Department of State on lock. Now, if you believe, what was the name of this company? Mooka Magic Trade knows how to do all of this stuff. They're buying products for you. Great. Water pump residencies, uh, air purifier, forklift warehouse. Like, I'm trying to get you to understand that you can do anything just like Mooka Magic is doing. Because they're not doing the work. They're not creating the products. They just want to know what do you want and I'll deliver it to you. Tell me the specs of what you want because it's going to be sitting in the documents that I've been clicking on on Sam.gov. It's sitting right in the documents exactly what you want. It's my job to solve your problem. Your problem is you need this product and you need a company to go get it because it's illegal for you to just get out there and start getting stuff, right? So this is how they put money in the economy through business. So they're looking for you to purchase this stuff. Sometimes you can get a credit card spend. Sometimes you're going to have to buy the product first. And I don't mean buy the product uh, and put it in your garage. I mean, you're going to wait to get awarded. Okay. You're going to submit the quote in because you reached out to three different companies. You got three different quotes and make sure that uh, on that quote that they give you, you really want to get like 60, 90 days as much out possible that they will honor the quote that they gave you. That's a kicker because if you submit that thing and the government come back 30 days later and you on day 32 and you like, Hey man, uh, I got it at this price and price just jumped up on you, uh, $15 per product. And that's all your profit. I, you, you got, you messed up. You can go to the government and say, Hey, prices went up. That's possibly they'll accept that, but not all the time. Okay. So make sure you know that Every person is going to honor that quote for a certain length of time. Uh, but after that, the government says they want to buy it. You're going to go ahead and now purchase it with your money or your credit card, whatever it is. They're going to deliver it. Make sure you deliver it how the government told you it needs to be delivered. If the company that you're buying the stuff from cannot do drop shipping correctly to label that package right and put the information on there, you get it delivered to you and then you deliver it correctly to the government. And guess what? Know this already before you put the bid in because if it has to come to you and then go to the government, that's extra fees. So you need to make sure, listen, no time in business ever do you pay to do business. And we gotta stop doing that as minority owned businesses, man. We don't, we don't work on crumbs. We don't work on low costs. We not doing deals. Like we need money in order to keep our doors open and keep the people that we need in place to run our businesses. So yes, if I am going to get stuff delivered to me and then delivered to the government, I need to make sure the government pay for that. It's in my quote. And if that raises my price to where it's non-competitive, it's just non-competitive. But we're not going to just do stupid deals just to say that we got contracts for the government. That just don't make sense. All right. So again, FPDS, everything that you're doing, anything that you have an idea about. Look, we love, love social media, right? I mean, people love social media. Well, guess what? What if I just type Instagram in here? Go to date sign. Let me look at this contract right here and all I typed in was Instagram. Scroll down. Intellectual property rights, Instagram public awareness campaign. Like, this is why I say y'all gotta stop talking to people when they talk about the government. They don't know what the hell they talking about, man. If you know Instagram, you know how to make a damn Instagram awareness program, uh, 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 awareness campaign, man. Come on, man. What does this say? Number of offers received, one. Come on, man. 
That's because somebody was smart and they wasn't playing around on social media all the time and understanding that there's co- government contracts out here for the stuff that we do every day of our lives. Every day of our lives, there's tons of money being spent. Shoes. Come on, man. Y'all love shopping for shoes and shit. Date sign. Now, here's the problem. These ain't your Gucci's. DJ ain't your, uh, I, don't, I forget that B company. I don't need to buy them expensive ass shoes. All right. But they may be shoes for the prison. Now, if you tell me, oh, I don't want to put money into the prison. Look, that's your, that's, that's your own personal emotion towards this because they're still going to buy these shoes whether you are upset about it or not. Khaki clothing. Work boots. Shower. Look, they got a whole list of items. Shower curtains. Shower shoes. Brown t-shirts. Laundry bag. I mean, it. I don't think it's hard to find any of these items and get paid for it. All right? So, uh, again, I hope that made sense to you guys today. Um, Don't forget, make sure that you are uh, liking, subscribing to the channel so other people can find these opportunities. I think I had a couple questions in here, a couple things. Uh, That low-hanging fruit. Yes, I did show you guys more of the low-hanging fruit today. Uh, You got to be a little more strategic when it comes to the uh, bigger ticket items. But uh, sometimes I just got to get y'all to believe first. And if that if that gets you to believe right there, the lower ticket items, then I got to show you the lower ticket items. Uh, but the same way that I went through that process for low ticket items, you can do the exact same thing for high ticket items. The only thing you need is time. You just need some time to develop the plan and put the team together. All right. Uh, if you middleman a bid for service, janitorial lease, junk removal, and the government has a problem, do they contact you or deal with the company? All right. Listen to what you just said. Right. And and I'm not picking on you. I just I want you guys to start to uh, get in the habit of, you know, looking at what you're saying so you can understand it. If you middleman a bid for a service. So that means you're in the middle. All right. You're in the middle. The government shouldn't even be talking to the other person on the other end or else. Why are you in the middle? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So since you are in the middle. And you're saying that your team or whoever you put together, there was an issue. Should they be jumping over you? Like when you're at work and there's a problem and you jump over the manager and go straight to the head man, ain't there a problem with that? You never want people to jump over you. So the the answer I'm trying to tell you as you say this is like, no, you don't ever. If you're the person that's running the show, put the deal together like you don't want to get out of the picture. When you get out of the picture, you get out of the money. <laughs> and trust me, in the government contracting world, if you want to get out of the money doing something like that, they'll get you out of the money real, real quick. Don't you ever put somebody else in place of the money. The government is your customer. If that's what you're doing, uh, not a subcontractor, right? You said a middleman. So as a middleman, you're taking the lead. And you're in the middle between the government and the provider. I hope that made sense. All right. But great question, right? All right. Government is dealing with the prime. You hired a sub. uh, And it also depends on the agency. Okay. She got it. She got it. She got it. She got it. Uh, Eric, let's see what you had here. If my LLC company registered as an online biz, can we still be seller for products for iPhones? Yeah. Why not? Hey, Eric, you can do whatever the hell you want, my brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you guys to understand that you can do whatever you want. You know, um, we limit ourselves to opportunities, but you can do whatever you want. All right. All right, guys, I actually have to get out of here before one o'clock uh, again as you're watching this replay. Um, I appreciate you. Make sure you're liking, subscribing, and most importantly, telling somebody else what's going on here at government contracting, preferably my minority businesses, uh, because I do want to get this information in our communities. I think it's really important. No, you do not need a reseller's permit to sell products. All right. Not here. Um, But great question. Uh, Again, make sure you're uh, sharing this information out so our other minorities can find out about it and they can enter this space. We're facing a time right now of, you know, confusion, Um, a lot's going on, stocks are crashing, 
uh, crypto's going crazy. Jobs are going crazy. They talking about uh, uh, our our backlogs for products and services. Just a whole lot to going on, and now the scarcity of recession is going to start buzzing through ears more and more and more. That's called fear to me. Like we do not have to live in that fear. I'm telling you guys, there's a customer right here that I don't know what the rest of the world will experience, but I know for sure as a fact, like I've made it through whatever they talk about, any depression they're going to talk about, any recession they're going to talk about, government contracting has gotten every contractor through it uh, that definitely manage their money correctly and don't just blow it away. But this is a recession proof industry is what I'm trying to explain to you. You can always generate revenue right here to put food on the table, to put clothes on the back of your family and put a roof over their head. So this is just a customer for your business, okay? You still have to have the business for the customer. But when you, you in your mind can just understand that this is nothing but a customer, how can I serve my customer the best? What are their rules in order to serve them? I can serve anybody, just like if anybody sat down at a restaurant. You can serve anybody that sits down at a restaurant. The government is a big restaurant. You can serve them in any way that you can put the pieces together based off their rules and regulations. If you can keep that mindset going forward, you can do extremely well in government contracting because whatever you lack, here's the key, whatever you lack, the government, the federal government says, hey, you can go get it as long as you bring it all together. We have absolutely no problem with giving you this deal for whatever it is. Just give yourself enough time to put the team together. Think of it like LeBron building his basketball team, right? You need to now build your team for whatever the opportunity is that you want to go after. And I just showed you there's an opportunity for everything. So don't ask, is there an opportunity for me? The answer is yes. All right. I love y'all. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. Stay safe out here in these streets during the holidays and I'll talk with you later. Do this.